Hello and welcome to another quadruple video. So in this lecture, we are going to show you how to enable HTTPS on the Nginx server we created in the previous lecture. So if you don't know how to create an Nginx server and configure it, basically, you can go to the previous lecture and watch it. And in this lecture, we are going to do some cool stuff, advanced stuff, which is enabling HTTPS on the Nginx server. So first of all, let me show you, we are in the sites available directory. And in the previous lecture, I have taught you the two most important folders, which are the sites available and the sites enabled folders. Okay. So if we do cat ngx.conf, and as you can see, this is the basic configuration file. And in order to enable HTTPS, we need to add these three lines to this particular configuration file. So these are called the directives, which are listen, SSL certificate and SSL certificate key. So this is intuitive that we will need two files. First is the certificate and second one is the certificate key. So first of all, we are going to generate a certificate key and we can do this by using OpenSSL. And as you can see, the certificate key is generated. And now we are going to use a certificate signing request and the certificate key, which is example.key in order to generate the certificate. Okay, so next thing is we are going to generate a certificate signing request. So as you can see, uh, country name should be India and this is going to be RJ, this is AJ, organization name will be quadrupled, unit leave it, Con common name FQDN will be this dot IO and leave this, leave this, leave this. Or if we do LS, we have the certificate signing request. So the certificate will be signed using the CSR and the key. Now the final step is signing the certificate. So we can just copy this code again, we can paste it and we can hit enter. As you can see, we do ls, we have the example.crt. Now if we see here, we have this etc nginx ssl example.crt. So meaning that the certificate should be located inside the ssl folder and the example.key should be located inside the ssl folder. But if we go to nginx or etc nginx, we don't have any folder called SSL. So first of all, we are going to create a folder using mkdir dash p option to recursively create folders. We can do etc nginx SSL. Now I'm going to copy these two files, basically the certificate and the certificate key to the SSL folder using this move command. So we can paste it, we can hit enter. If we do ls, we should remove the example.csr and we do ls, we are all good to go. And let me show you what do we mean by the symbolic link. Now we know that this file is linked to the sites enabled directory. So if we navigate to the sites enabled directory, we do ls, we have this file and this file is symbolically linked. Now if I do cat ngx, so this is also having the same content. So we don't need to edit both the files at the same time. We, if we edit one file, the changes will take place in the linked file at the same time. So that's why it is very important. It is called as symbolic linking. The next step will be checking the configuration file for any syntax errors. If we do nginx dash t to check the configuration file for syntax errors, we can do enter. And as you can see, this test is successful. Syntax is okay. Finally, I'm going to do system ctl. We are going to restart the nginx server and as we can see the server is started we can make a normal web request using curl dash s for silent dash i to get both the response body and response headers we are going to send the request to https and localhost okay so that's enough but i would like to do that using chrome so let's go to https localhost and as you can see, warning potential security risk ahead because it is not trusting the certificate authority, which is basically me. I am the certificate authority. The browser is not trusting me. So we can just go to advanced and we can just view the certificate. And basically, this is the certificate we just created. This is issued by the quadruple.io. Okay. So this is the certificate and browser is not trusting our organization because we are not a certificate authority. We are a normal intermediary. So finally, I'm going to accept the risk and continue. And as we can see, this website is now loaded over HTTP as we have successfully enabled HTTPS on the Nginx server. If we do this, okay, we are not getting anything. I'm still surprised we should get this. Dash K. So curl dash dash S 
dash i so meaning that we need to use the dash k option because the browser is not or the curl is not trusting my certificate authority so as you can see this is working because curl is also doing work the same way the browser does it is also not trusting the certificate authority okay so this was the way we just enabled https on the server in future videos we are going to see how we can configure this nginx server more and more so i hope you enjoyed this lecture we will meet in the next lecture till then have a wonderful day and thank you